ever run into an Acumatic uh, customization that just seems simple at first? Mm -hmm. You know, you think you've got it all figured out, but then bam, you hit a wall with one of those cryptic error messages. Oh yeah, it definitely happens. Acumatica is super flexible, but that sometimes means that even a simple customization can turn out to be a lot more complicated than you'd expect. That's exactly what today's deep dive is all about. We're gonna take a look at a challenge that Noor, she's an associate software engineer at Diana Solutions, ran into. She had to display a vendor note on the vendor details screen. Okay, sounds straightforward enough. Right, but here's where things get a little tricky. Everything works fine until she started creating bills and payments for certain vendors, and then boom, this error message pops up. Unable to cast object of type PX object CRB account to type PX object AP vendor R. Oof. Yeah, that's not exactly the most user-friendly error message. I bet that left a few users scratching their heads. Absolutely. So what was going on behind the scenes that caused this? Well, the error message itself actually gives us a clue. It talks about casting objects, which basically means the system is trying to treat one type of data as if it were a different type. Like in this case, it was trying to take information from the bank account table and treat it like it was coming from the vendor table. I think I see where you're going with this. Yeah. There's definitely a relationship between those two tables, but it's not always a one-to-one -one match. You got it. Every vendor in Acumatica has an associated bank account, but there are times when a bank account might be there without a direct link to a vendor record. Interesting. So Norse customization was working for most vendors, but it hit a snag when it ran into those bank accounts that didn't have that corresponding vendor entry. That's exactly it. And the reason that happened comes down to how her code was written initially. It was pulling data from the bank account table to show that vendor note. But when there was no linked vendor record, the system couldn't find what it needed, and that's when you get that error. So how did she fix it? Did you have to start from scratch with the code? No, not at all. She came up with a pretty smart fix that actually highlights a key principle when you're customizing Acumatica. Instead of relying on that bank account table, she shifted her focus directly to the vendor table. Makes sense. So by looking at the vendor table directly, she avoided those bank account records that didn't have a vendor. Exactly. Her original code was using a BQL statement. Acumatica's query language. Right. To fetch data from the bank account table. But to fix this, she tweaked that BQL statement to pull the information she needed straight from the vendor table. That's clever. So the fix wasn't all that complicated, but you really have to understand how those tables relate and know your way around BQL. It's a perfect example of why it's crucial to really grasp Acumatica's data model if you want to do successful customizations. You need to know how to write code for sure, but you also got to understand why things work the way they do. This error seems like something a lot of consultants could bump into. Any takeaways our listeners can use on their own projects to avoid this kind of situation? Absolutely. The first thing is thorough testing. Nora's customization worked fine for most vendors, but it was only when she tested it that this edge case popped up. Testing is so important, but anything else consultants should keep in mind. For sure. Another key point is to remember that Acumatica's documentation is your friend. They've got really comprehensive documentation about their data model and how to use BQL, and that can be a lifesaver when you're trying to figure out how everything fits together. So thorough testing, understanding the table relationships, and making good use of Acumatica's documentation. Got it. Exactly. And if you do hit a roadblock, don't be afraid to reach out for help. There's a great Acumatica community out there with tons of experience. By following those principles and tapping into that awesome Acumatica community, you can confidently handle the ins and outs of customization and deliver amazing results for your clients.